everyone. So my name's Alex. I'm from Emporium Bride. We've just got a client. She's probably about an hour away from coming from her first console. She's already given me the brief of what sort of wedding vibe she wanted to go for. And I'm just putting together some sort of a look that I think that she'll like. Uh, and I thought I'd film a video and, and bring you along the journey of how to put the table together and, and the elements that we've got on the table. Um, all of our products that we're using today are available online for sale or for hire. Uh, our brief for today was um, something, some happy medium, <laughs> literally this is the brief, some happy medium between a traditional wedding mixed with a little bit of a manly style, mixed with uh, greenery and white flowers. So the budget for the bride is not very high um, and and that's perfectly fine. It's actually one of our favorite things to do because we believe that everyone should have a beautiful wedding doesn't matter what budget they have. Um, and we don't believe that everyone should be spending $500 on a centerpiece for fresh flowers. We've actually got um, some faux, faux, artificial silk flowers um, that we're going to be proposing that we can use that we think will look pretty spectacular and that I guess won't even notice that they're fake. Even better. Um, we're actually going to propose that she does the artificial greenery and then maybe incorporate some fresh flowers. Um, that way, there is fresh elements to the um, centerpiece, but without having you know multiple hundreds of dollars per table sort of set up. So let me show you what I've got here set up and some ideas around how we're going to put it together. And I'll also show you uh, we're going to do a bit of a product showcase. I've got this amazing chiffon that I know you're going to love and I want to show you in person what it looks like and how I think you could possibly style it on your Tiffany chair. This is just our, sh um, our showroom, it's a bit of a small bird box but we'll, we'll work with it um, and this is just what we've got set up here in the corner. I've got our white Tiffany chairs which are resin chairs of the st um, reinforced steel frame so they're super strong but super light and easy to transport so we hide them out and sell them. Uh, to other wedding decorators and stylists nationally across Australia only at this stage. Um, our gold rim glassware. Uh, we've got our gold rim glass charger plate. Take that off. So you can see there they've got that beautiful um, textured sort of glass finish of them. And then we've added our dinner plates from our Balmoral range. So they're white, but they've got a detail to them, so they keep things interesting. And then for there we've got our gold cutlery, our contemporary gold cutlery. Um, what have we got? Dinner plate, entree plate, bread plate. Uh, I've just got two normal poly cotton napkins, and then these are pieces of chiffon, which are 110 centimeters by 130. Uh, so it's a slight rectangular. And they're actually Tiffany chair capes, but you can use these for so many things. We've just draped them even so many times just in the center of tables to soften up instead of having a table runner, that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got one of our little LED candles just for a display. If you're using faux flowers and any candles close to the faux flowers, I always recommend using an LED candle. This is our 40 centimeter candlestick. And then this is our 70. So we've got it also in a 50. So it looks really cute when you've got the three. Two, we've just got two for today because I think that it'll suffice for the bride's budget and what she's after. So let me just show you how we're going to sit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up the centerpiece. So on this centerpiece, what I've done here is I've got a foam block in the middle and I have secured this foam block to this candlestick top and we've just added in a whole bunch of mixed foliage. So we've got um, your little faux eucalyptus, faux ivy, faux orange blossom leaves, faux I don't even know what we've got in here. <laughs> but we've got all sorts of stuff. So it looks quite realistic from a distance. So let me just bring it out. So I see nobody will even really notice the foliage, particularly if we're going to be putting fresh flowers, even if we put the fake flowers in. Um, I find that keeping your flowers white uh, in the silk flowers or fake flowers is a really good way to keep um, 
keep it as real as possible because the colours is usually where the, um, the manufacturers can slip up with trying to make it look realistic. So um, this is the big 70 centimetre and we'll just place that one in the centre. Oops, just dropped a And then secondly I've got this uh, wreath that we've also just added in a whole bunch of foliage um, into. So what we're going to do is put that 40 centimetre one through that wreath. So it's a base. And we're going to centre that in there. So because this is so close to this foliage, we're going to be using an LED candle. This is just my showroom one. So you can see she's uh, melted a few times because we do live in Queensland. It does get above 40 degrees quite regularly during the summer season. So um, it is just for display for today. Dropping cutlery. So now what we're going to do here is set the table first. Now this is just a showroom example. So I've only got the two settings that I'll be putting down today. Charge plate first and then dinner plate. Very original. I know, I know. Charge plate. Dinner plate. Right. Beautiful, nice and centered. So then we'll put our entree plates. centered onto the table as well. Our bread plates. So see this foliage is in the way. Maybe it's just gonna... yeah, this is actually better. So we've got the foliage going over the top of the candle. Stick base of the 70 centimeter. So it'll make it all mesh to the table a bit better. So we've got the bread plate. And now cutlery. So. So what I like doing with napkins the most is just folding them into um, quarters, uh, rectangular, and, and actually placing them underneath, in between the entree plate and the uh, dinner plate. If you don't have an entree plate stacked, just in between the dinner plate and the charger plate. If you don't have a dinner plate stacked, just in between the charger plate and the table. So we just put them down flat, I'll show you shortly. Uh, I find that it's probably the easiest way to keep it out of way, um, but obviously it's a really practical item that you need. Uh, we, I don't really like going into crazy detail with how to fold them or tie them in knots. Or um, The most that we will do maybe is put a napkin ring on them. So you can see there I folded it just in a rectangle. It isn't pressed for the sake of today's display. So I just put the top of the napkin at the top of the plate and put it on. So you can see it's out of the way, but it adds a bit of an interest to the table there. So I'll just do it on the other side as well. Oh, it was a little bit wonky in the camera. We've got our entree fork and knife, main fork and knife, butter knife, dessert fork and spoon. Uh, tumbler for water or soft drink, wine glass, champagne glass. So we find that this is a pretty um, standard setup that people are looking for at their weddings. Um, and then of course we've also got our white Tiffany chair there. So there's always the option to stop. So there's always the option just to stop at this look here, since it is a wedding, we are adding a few more extra details to make it a little bit more special. So here we've got one of our Tiffany chairs which is beautiful on its own, but we're going to add uh, the cape to it uh, and we'll show you a couple of different ways to tie it. So this is our piece of chiffon, it's just a rectangle piece to cape it over, drape, right in the middle. I've got to, I've got to get down, <laughs> I've got to get down to be able to do this. So right in the centre. So then we get the bottom. So we've put it right in the centre 
you've centered it twice, get that bottom corner and I keep the other two in the middle and I tie it once, twice. And that second time just undid, so I'll just do it again. Right? Now, that could be just a single look. And then so you can see, I've got a few options there. You can sort of wrap this, what you've just tied, around a few times. Gives her that slightly more neater tie, tuck it under, and then you've got the two tails coming down. The other option is of course is to get this and to tuck it also under and one more time. So and that just sort of helps. If you've got any brides who don't like, for example, this bamboo sort of inlay look uh, that Tiffany chairs have um, and here you've made a really nice sturdy pocket so you could actually even stuff this with a bit of greenery artificial flowers fresh flowers if you're really keen I wouldn't put any fresh flowers in but you never know what sort of ride you have uh, I would pin it I'd get a little safety pin and just clip it in or, or something just a little pin in there there's a lot of options of what you can do with this little pocket here to make your chair a little bit more interesting. I personally, for this look, because I want, because with the brief is um, somewhere in between traditional wedding, bit masculine, bit glam, a bit trop lux, a bit of everything. Uh, I do want to keep it quite soft because everything else, so with that dark tablecloth, if you could imagine like a whole uh, reception place with dark tablecloths you do need to have a bit of white uh, just to lift the space otherwise it could be just it comes across as a bit moody which is fine but it isn't the brief for this particular wedding so I'm gonna leave it like that I am gonna leave it tucked over so it looks like a little round bit I mean if you've got little clips you've got these little diamante clips that you can get in and check it on with a bit of bling anyway I'll do the second chair now and I'll show you the final look I was silly and I totally forgot. Um, I've got a whole bunch of white flowers here, silk flowers, so they're just a typical bridal mix of roses, hydrangeas, carnations. And I'm just going to plop them into the top of that centerpiece uh, just to show her potentially what we could do um, with some fresh flowers and how it could look. So we're almost done. So that's it, that's our final look. Um, she's just about to come in, so that's really good timing. So thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you thought it was half decent and that you learned something new. Um, please leave a comment below. I'd love to get to know who we've got watching and what they're looking for. Uh, if you've got any ideas what you'd like to see, perhaps how to, how to make your own DIY centerpiece. So for example, like we sell these candlesticks and the and all the other bits and pieces and so how we use them to put it all together. Uh, I'd love to make a video like that if you guys are interested. Uh, possibly how to style other tables. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. So whatever you guys want to watch or see, I'm more than happy to do my best to produce. So thanks again. Bye.